welcome to my December favorites video. I have a ton of stuff I have been love, love, loving this month, and I'm going to share them all with you now. They're not so much wintry or Christmas favorites, because I felt like since I did like winter Christmas favorites already, I have more just like generic favorites. I didn't really fit into any of those, so this is kind of just stuff I've been loving right now, um, but also this month. Um, okay. First thing, first and foremost, have to get this out of the way. This cookie butter ice blended drink from Coffee Bean is the everything. It is the ish, the shit. Oh my god, it is so, mmm, so good. This is winner, winner, chicken dinner. The great debate between Starbucks and Coffee Bean. This is it. This has ended it. It's game over. Cookie butter is everything. I don't even want to know how many calories. I can only guess it has like 5,000 million calories. I don't want to know because I want to enjoy this. Ignorance is bliss. I want to enjoy this until the new year. I said cookie butter, yes, until the new year, and then that's it. It just it has to be done. Mm. It's like an abusive relationship where you know it has to end, but you don't want it to, and you're just going to enjoy it a little more, especially when that sex is that good. I know. Why is everything about sex lately? I've been a little bit up, like, drought of the sex game. You know what I mean? I've been a little bit lacking in my sex game so I'm just I think the frustration is is coming out um I'm coming out <laughs> okay um I am in a really weird mood right now another favorite is my hair this is my Bellamy hair I did a whole video about my pink cotton candy hair that I can like link below so you guys can like know all about it but these are all like clip-ins this is all fake this is all fake and you guys can get it too it's like super easy to get um so I can link that video below Okay, since I am a beauty guru, <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, you guys like seeing, you like seeing previews of what's to come. I'm gonna start with some beauty products. Um, not a ton of beauty products this month because I've been kind of sticking with the same mascara, same foundations, but I have some really awesome palettes. Okay, so the first palette I want to talk about is this Naked <clears throat> Urban Decay Smoky. Like, I feel like okay, we got enough with the Naked. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much Naked stuff happening. Like, the Naked palette was everything. Naked palette to everything. They should have stopped there because it gave exclusivity to the name Naked. It was like, I love it. Now there's Naked Foundation, Naked Lip, Naked This, Naked That. It's like, okay, we get it. But I do love this, this palette a lot because I'm a smoky eye kind of girl and it has a ton of smoky colors. You can do a purple smoky eye, blue smoky eye, nude smoky eye, black smoky eye. All the smoky eyes that I love, love, love so much you can create with this palette. Ironically, I've been using these like nude colors. I don't know if you can see. I've been using like these nude colors more so um, because I've just been doing a more bronzier eye. But not to say the other colors aren't amazing. I actually haven't even dipped into the blacks or the blues, which are like my favorite smoky. But I just started using this. I actually got this like a couple, maybe a month or two ago. Um, and I just started using it this month and I like love it. It's the palette I've been dipping into. I, I tend to do this lately. I don't know if I'm like thinking, I don't know what it is. Like I just have a palette set out and I use it the whole month lately. I think that I just don't change up my look all that much in my everyday day life. You know what I'm saying? So not as much as I used to anyways. Um, then this other palette is Life, but I think all NARS palette, like, it's, it's kind of like a no-brainer slam dunk, like this has to be amazing, like there, there couldn't be anything less, and it is the NARS Stephen Klein powder palette, and it's basically bronzers and blush, which NARS does extremely well. Um, why this palette is like coming in, you can't even like tell like I used it, but I swear to goodness, I've used these two colors the most, because this palette is coming in as a winner, winner, chicken dinner for this month, because it's different, well, maybe they have these, but they're they're not the same ones, they're not like orgasm, deep throat, like the same ones you see in the palettes, these are different, these are blasphemy and luster are the two I showed which I've never heard from. They're variations of like other blushes that I've seen similar to NARS, but I think they're new as far as I know, they're new to me. And then also it has the Big Laguna, which I, ugh, I'm obsessed with like Laguna, right? So it's just a really awesome palette, especially for someone like me. And my blushes and my bronzers are still like nowhere to be found. I don't know what happened to them. My makeup collection is like not on point, but this palette has been awesome. It's what I've only been using. And honestly, I've been using it for the past like couple months and like you can't even tell I've like dipped into it. It looks like brand new. So I a little bit on like a little bit goes a long long way is that a song a little bit goes a long way mm. singing a song like christmas songs were a favorite i know it's not christmas anymore but i loved my christmas songs so so much they were so amazing um i can listen to christmas music all year round though i'm one of those people who like rewatches my santa baby in like june i'm like yes Ready for the Christmas spirit. Um, yeah, I don't know. So those are my favorites. I'm having, I'm working on some new music now. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys my new music. I'm so excited. Like, I've actually never been more excited about something. Okay. Anyways, I'm like blabbing. Okay, two very different lip products I'm going to show you. 
The first is the SNARS, it's the Stephen Klein. It is called Provoke. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I wore this on my lips from Phantom. I wore it when I went to go see Phantom of the Oh no, did I see Phantom of the Opera? No, Beauty of the Beast. When I saw Beauty and the Beast in my vlog channel, I had this on my lips. I've actually been wearing this a lot. This is not the matte one that I wear. This is a gloss, but I put it over the matte lipstick sometimes. Um, this is a gloss. The matte lipstick is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which that's coming up in a beauty haul because um Maybe I already posted the beauty haul. I don't know. Uh, it's coming up in a beauty haul uh, if you haven't already seen it. Um, but this is the gloss that I put over it. And it is a gloss gloss. And I love this color so much. It is probably the prettiest color like this I've ever applied on my lips. The only, only thing is I have a bad habit of getting lip glosses like this on my teeth. And it did tend to get on my teeth a lot. Uh, so for that, I would say the matte lipstick is better, but this color is a way better payoff than the matte lipstick by Anastasia. So I kind of just put it on top and try not to do too much, and I just keep checking my teeth and like doing the whole teeth thing and just being like, is there a stop on my teeth? Because, you know, it's that pretty. But that's why a lot of my pictures at the Pantages when I went to go see Beauty and the Beast were very... It's just in case I had on my teeth, you know what I'm saying? Or when I was meeting you guys, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I was very like, you know, just in case I had it on my teeth. Okay, this one I have been meaning to talk about forever ever ever it's the one I just tend to go to on a daily basis and I sorry it doesn't have a color because it's the Christian Louboutin lipstick and the packaging is beautiful but does not say the name and I have quite a few of these so I just oh you know what does it it just says 705 M I don't think that's the name and it says Louboutin the packaging is gorgeous these are the hundred dollar lipsticks which are it's crazy it's the stupidest thing ever but for girls who like collect makeup you know what I mean like some of us like collect makeup like guys collect cars or like guys collect baseball cards or you know like we all collect stupid things like baseball cards are dumb things but people collect them because it makes them happy well that's kind of how I am with makeup um so I just thought this is like definitely a collector's item it's not something anyone needs at all but I have been loving this color I ordered actually a few <sighs> My little swoosh is coming off though. That's amazing. It's like, bye, hey. Okay. Um, what the heck? Oh, I'm gonna glue it back down. Anyways, this is so pretty actually. It's such a matte, matte color without drying out your lips. And it is so gorgeous. It's like this mauve nude. Um, it's really all you need. I mean, I don't ever wear liner or gloss with it. It is so pretty. Again, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know the name. And I kind of even feel bad sh like showing you guys. And I think that's probably why I haven't showed it. But I've literally used this for the past like three months. Like it's like the daily one I wear when I want to feel like a little like, you know, glamorous when I go out. But it's amazing. Um, I have a few beauty products. Um, this one too I was meaning to talk about last month. I don't know why I didn't talk about it. Probably because it was like in my purse and I just didn't think about it. But this time I made sure because I lathered the crap out of me on my Christmas video with this. I have been an ashy, ashy, ashy person. I got this at my nail salon. It's called Frickin' Genius. Hopefully you can find it um, on Amazon or something. But I've only seen it at my nail salon. And the strawberry yogurt smells so good. I swear I put like a pump of it on. And everybody around me is like, what is that? It is the best smelling body lotion, but not only that, it's like a very healing lotion, meaning like I, I don't get ashy. Like, you know how sometimes like Bath and Body Works lotions, you put it on, so I don't buy a lot of them anymore. You put it on, and oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, it smells, it smells like strawberry milkshake. It smells so good. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll get ashy after like, if it like dries, it absorbs into your skin. This absorbs into your skin and keeps your skin nice and smooth. It is amazing. It's freaking genius, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, also on that same, like, I've been having dry, ashy skin. This has been amazing. It is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I have been, I did, I talked about this on my vlog channel, but I had to talk about it on favorites. I, every before, all my videos, in any video I watch, I saw the Leslie Mann commercial where she's like, um, oop. Dry. Now, where might the men be showering? You guys know that one where she's like, no, it absorbs well, whatever. Anyways, you put this on after you showered, but before you towel off. So your skin's wet. It's supposed to lock in moisturize, right? It's supposed to lock in the moisturization. And I honestly think it works. I credit a lot of my, like, nice skin to this because I never, I just never really lotion up because I don't like feeling greasy. This does not leave you greasy. This absorbs when it's supposed to. And, I mean, that ad did its job before all my videos and every video I've watched because I bought this and I got it in refreshing coconut oil. And it works. And if you have dry skin and you don't love lotioning up, get this because you can like lotion up and then you pat dry. Ooh, pat dry. Now, why may the men be shy? You know the muscles. Sometimes guys with big muscles have a hard time reaching the back. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be right like that commercial. Anyways, you, maybe if you've never seen it, you're probably like, what the heck? Maybe it just caters to ashy skin people like myself because I saw it every single time I watched anyone's video. I got it. I love it. It's actually amazing. Okay. 
So moving on now to my more random favorites. This one is probably more of a November favorite because I mentioned the Beatles in November. But I saw this at Universal City Walk and I, I just, I lived. My favorite album by the Beatles is Abbey Road and, well I like the White Album too, but Abbey Road is one of my faves. And so when I saw this, I just definitely needed it. I've actually been using this sometimes as a purse, sometimes as a little like actual lunchbox where I put my snacks in it. Um, but I love it so much and it's just says the Beatles. I just got it at City Walk and I just really liked it. It wasn't like those cheesy lunch boxes you see sometimes. They had a lot of those, but I just, I don't know. I really, really loved this because I love the Beatles. I'm still obsessed with the Beatles. It's like my everything. Um, so I had to mention that. Okay, this candle, I'll talk about something that looks like I've never used, but I've literally burned every day of my life this month. And that is the Yankee Candle Candy Cane Lane. Oh my God, first of all, it smells so good. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells like peppermint, peppermint patties and I love it so, so, so much. And look at it. I've been burning it. This thing, though, doesn't want to stand. I have been burning this all month. And look, it looks like a brand new freaking candle. Like, Yankee Candle is amazing, but also kind of like, how does that not burn? What kind of sorcery is this? Um, I love it so much. This has been the ultimate Christmas candle of all my candles. Candy Cane Lane has been my absolute, absolute, absolute absolute favorite and it's amazing and I know it's like Christmas is like over now and like people kind of over the candy cane thing but for next Christmas if you guys want to stock up on candles these probably are on sale I feel like candles like holiday candles go on sale even though you can use them all year round I feel like since it's a holiday flavor it may be on sale I don't know okay two more things actually I'll save that that's like the best for last this is so random and has nothing to do with the holidays or Christmas or anything but I love these um so these are awesome because they're pretzels which are a little healthier than chips but when I'm craving chips or something salty I only have a couple of these because it's actually all I really care for when I eat them. They're not like super addictive in that way, but they are so yummy. Sometimes I put a little peanut butter if I'm feeling naughty. They are so good. I'm gonna have one right now. Mmm. I was never a huge pretzel fan. I'm like, I'd rather have potato chips, but honestly, this is better because you get that salt, but they're not as addicting as potato chips where you need to eat the whole bag. I, I just, I do maybe like six on a napkin and take it downstairs, and that's good for me. Like, it's a good little snack. I love it so much. Um, 110 calories for 15 pretzels, and I, like I said, I have about six, so it's less than half. It's like 50 calories snapped. Uh, uh, so good. I love them so much. I know it's so random. Like, <laughs> I've been eating these snacks though, again since like October. And I was like, I wrote it down actually to talk about because I was like, no, I need to talk about these because these are things that are like life. It's like how I curb my potato chip craving. Wash it down with a little cookie butter ice blended. Mm. Oh my god, why is that so good? Seriously, why is that so good though? It's so amazing. And then the final favorite is my iPad Pro, which I am so obsessed with. I did not think I would ever be so obsessed with something in my entire life. Because I have so many Apple products, like way too many, and they're all like so pointless. I have the iPad mini, I have the iPad, I have the iPad 2, I have every iPhone that's ever been out. I have a MacBook, I have a Mac, I have a MacBook Air, and I have... I have so much. I just have like, it's crazy. Anyways, this is my favorite Mac product. I'm not going to lie. When I unboxed it, Shane and Drew over here and they're like, um, why don't you just get a computer? Like, that's just, what, what is the point? Because it's like so big. It is like, okay, so it is like the size of a computer, but it's so light. And not only that, you can hold it like a newspaper, which I really like. So when I'm like reading something, I feel like I'm reading a book. And also, you see more. Like, the YouTube quality is amazing on here. I watch videos on here. I tweet on here. I do everything on here. I love it so much. And also... I don't know if it's like this with all Apple products now, but when I logged into this, there is a six-digit passcode. Hold on one second. I just got like a million texts. I just love this so, so much. As you can see, it's just like so ginormous. It is just the coolest thing ever. It's so lightweight, and it's but it's big enough. It's not like as small as like the MacBook Air or something. You know what I mean? I just love it. I FaceTime a lot on here, as you guys can tell. I just do everything. I do all my like little tweets and YouTube. The only thing is I wish they had Snapchat on here. I wish they had Snapchat for iPad Pro because then it would be like literally everything. I wouldn't even need my phone. But I love it so, so, so much, and I got it in gold. And honestly... If you're someone who's just like always on social media, always looking stuff up on the internet, this is like the thing you need because I just kind of can't. I'm literally just like carrying this around on any given day. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, I mean, it probably looks kind of douchey, but I love this so, so much. So I had to mention iPad Pro, honorary mention, December favorites. But anyways, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to be doing my 2015 yearly favorites. So stay tuned for that. What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. I can't believe it. Another year of favorites accomplished. Oh my gosh. Wow. We are going to 2016. It is terrifying. 
I'm so scared for the new year. The past couple of years, I've always been kind of like consistent with my life and I knew what was to come and knew what was coming. This year is like full of just all newness for me and it's scary and terrifying. There has been so many changes at the end of this year that it's like I'm kind of terrified to go into the new year, but I'm so excited for it because new year, new hope, new beginnings for us all. And anyways, I love you guys so much. As long as you guys stay here with me, I'll be so happy and be content in 2016. And I'm going to be old. I'm going to be 28. Oh my God. God, I'm dying. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, no, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna live in 2016. I'm gonna live and I'm gonna prosper. We gotta speak that into the universe. But I love you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and as always, I want to say hi to Moranis and until next time here my kisses for my little baby fishies. <laughs> Bye guys.